Well, go on, bread bins. It's Saturday the 6th of April, and this is a ride in hell. And there's a lot of us. Let's go. My name is Ben Chapman. I got into cycling when I was eight. My most favourite thing in the world is jumping on a train and just get off and then go ride in that area. It's just the freedom of having a bike and to go anywhere you want. Welcome back, you catch me in the same location as I was on Wednesday when I was talking about this exact ride. But today I've got 40 plus people with me. Liam. Hello. What are you riding, mate? Not a road bike. Hard tail, I'm obviously having loads of fun. So Liam texted me in the week saying, look, I really do want to come. Liam has just been signed by Team Cycles and been given the most beautiful bike I've ever seen. I'm a little bit jealous. Yeah, I can't quite believe it myself. How did you pull that off? No, I was going to ask you. You must be in the shop more than me. <laughs> yeah, spend a bit of money there. Tell the viewers what you've got. It's a beautiful Trek Madorn uh, yep. Gen 7 SLR um, with full SRAM ETAP gear and so it's absolutely gorgeous. Trek Sega Fredo red colouring. Yeah, doesn't get much nicer. In, in a size 76. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team mate. Thank you very much. What are you going to be doing on it? Um, I do duathons, um, yep. race them at sort of age group level for the Team GB. So. Yeah, we're doing a bit of last. So today we are in for around about 60k and as I said there's around about 45 to 50 of us. There's three domestiques, one Liam in front of me, myself, but I've had to take my top off because it's a little bit warm and also the shop owner. And we're just split into three groups at the minute. It's a lot more hillier than it's just, the it's original. Just, a, just the interview now, on the hill. On the hill. So uh, you want me to not, not uh, like breathing too much here? Yeah, go on. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Sasha. Well, living in Gateshead now, I'm from Germany. Yes, as I can tell. So my thick accent. My thick Geordie accent. <laughs> they, call me, they call me the German Geordie. Actually, that's not true. They all call me just Baldi. from home this morning but we are well I am 35k into this and if you saw last week's video or Wednesday's video you'd know that I was gonna buy something that I've never bought before and I've got one a mudguard Team mudguard I've got a mudguard Team mudguard I've got a mudguard yeah my first ever mudguard good job look at that the front as well now I do need one on the front it's still ugly though Oh, I can't deny that. It's ugly. Yeah, can't deny it. Just off of the It is, it's just here right where that sign is, yeah. Well, good to meet you. Yeah, you I too. I saw you on the Reaver last year as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you doing Reaver this year? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, we know yeah. where we're going. All right, we've got the map on the room. Try to go down the private access. So ah, the well, they've now. got it on there, so they should know better. Yes, no fear, no bother. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. You are the owner of Team Cycles. Correct. Can, can yeah. you, you've all, been. But you've also got an electrical shop. Yeah, well, so I've got an electrical wholesale business. Kind of B2B, you know, trade. We, we 
we supply all the little contract resin. But why, why did you set up Team Cycles? Well, it was a hobby thing, really. Me and my brother-in-law, quite keen cyclists, wanted to do something a bit different. So, yeah, we did it. I think it's 11 years now, Ben. 11 years, yeah, it is, yeah. Because yeah. it was our 10th birthday last, last year. year. Yeah, yeah. But it's great. So, yes, that was the owner of Team Cycles. And this is our second organised ride. And I'm hoping we can do a lot more in the future. There's carnage at the front, but everybody's at the back. <laughs> Out the way, nobody wants to take responsibility. But it gets fast now. It gets super fast now. Yeah, yeah, maybe for you. So unfortunately, someone had a little bit of a bump there and they possibly broke their shoulder coming through a traffic management system but well, we've got a couple of people waiting for them an ambulance is on its way and our job now is to try and catch up with the rest of the group we've done it we've caught them Ooh. Matches were burned. <laughs> we just lost two more to a puncher, but they'll catch up. We managed to catch up, so we're not pushing that hard, to be quite honest. The front group is steady away, and then there's a few in the middle and a few at the back. But as Liam just said, it's really hard to know what to do in those sort of situations. Germany. Hello. Hello. Good tag. Good tag. How are you doing? Well, I have to close the gap, so I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> trying to uh, stay alive. It's a, it's just a casual ride. You have got to close the gap. The gap was kind, kind of a gap, thicker. <laughs> uh, what's nice? Fun. I like him. He's funny. It, funny well. Am I funny as well? Yeah. Oh, you're funny. You're funnier. Eh? Hi. This is Craig, and you would have seen Rachel who's the marketing manager for Team Cycles on this channel previously and she helped organise this and this is her husband Craig. Craig, yeah. tell us where Rachel is today. The question is where was Rachel this morning? Where is she? Who knows? Who knows? Where is Rachel? Here in the comments, where's Rachel? We all want to know where's Rachel? <laughs> She's going to kill us. Some air What's the there? and a wife. I know, mate. <laughs> Just didn't want to wait. That's what happens when you come cycling with Rafa. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a great ride, mate. Absolutely awesome. It has been good, hasn't it? Met I, some nice people. I was, uh, I was under the impression that we might all stay together as a 50, but <laughs> we're probably about a four now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're uh, probably in about six different groups now, and uh, it's still amazing just meeting new people and having a laugh. He's got a very slow puncher and he's lost his wife. Picked up a, picked up a little screw. Little screw. A little screw. But yeah. Not the good kind. <laughs> it's still a good day.
So I would call that an absolute success. 65k, we had to call one ambulance. I hope he's okay, but I will update you in next week's video. His bike's here, looks okay. Liam. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Really enjoyed it, more than I expected to, to be honest. Uh, I expected to hate it, because I hate getting muddy, but yeah, put a smile on my face. How did your... 200 pounds for me, 900 pounds for the previous owner, but... Uh, 200 pounds, yeah. and you just rode 60k. Yeah. Had loads of fun. Yeah. And that shows that you don't need a posh Trek bike to have fun. So the one that we've just given you will have that back. Cheers, mate. <laughs> no, you're never getting that back. So we're going to do a lot more of these. We've had lots of conversations with the majority of the 40 people on this ride. And the consensus is we should do one of these every single month. 65k, very, very muddy. Some donuts, some bananas, some water, and there's even a few beers outside as well. Everybody has pretty much gone home. People have even come from Glasgow this week, so it's very much appreciated. Thank you to everybody that turned up. It's been an absolute blast, and me, Rachel, and the Team Cycles gang will try to do this a lot more often. As always, I'm gonna leave this video here. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone on the next one. Did you enjoy that? What was your average watts? Oh, really? You look very clean.